Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in Adobe Audition and I'm going to be showing you guys how to record crisp, loud, great sounding vocals. Uh, this is the process that I use when I'm recording my vocals for my videos or any other project in which I need a voiceover or a voice narration. So Adobe Audition is a program that allows you to record audio and record instruments and whatever it may be and then do some post processing once you are done. So if you have Adobe Audition and you want to create a great sounding voice for a podcast or a video, I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. So go ahead and go to File New, go to Audio File or Multi Track Session if you're using instruments or you need multiple tracks. Click on Audio File there, and then once you're there, you're going to have a few different options. You can go ahead and change the file name, which I'm doing to the tutorial here, and then you can change the channels to Mono stereo or 5.1, all depending on your specific needs. Now, once we've done that, you're going to be presented with a blank canvas. This is where you can press the record button here. And then once you're doing that, you can record some audio and then you can see that as you're recording on the screen. Now, once we do that, we can actually go through here and delete some of the unwanted you know, blank space or whatever it may be there. And then if we just press the space bar or press play, uh, it'll play back that audio. So I have some here I've already done and I'm going to go ahead and play that for you now. This is the unprocessed vocal. So if I go ahead and press play here, you can hear the vocal. This is test audio for the tutorial. So as you see, that's just my voice at a bare minimum, bare bone. That's what's recorded directly from my microphone to my audio interface directly to the program Adobe Audition. Now we're going to do some post-processing. So what we're going to do now is go over to the effects rack, and if you can't see that, go to Window Effects Rack and make sure there's a check mark beside it. Click on that arrow there by number one on the effects rack. Go to Filter and EQ, and then go to Parametric Equalizer. Once we are there, you're going to go down to the presets in the upper left-hand corner, and then go down to Loudness Maximizer, which is right here. Now you can play with the lows and the highs if you want to get a specific effect but I like the original preset and then once we're done there go over to the apply button which is in the lower left hand corner of the effects rack and that will then apply that effect now once we've done that we can look at our history down there and see all the effects that we have applied in this project once we've done that, go up to Effects in the upper left-hand corner there, and then go down to Amplitude and Compression. We're going to normalize the sound just a little bit, so click on Normalize Process there. Once we've done that, it'll ask us to normalize to a specific number. I like to set mine anywhere from 95.3 you know, up till 98.7, so choose something in that range, play around with that, and see what sounds better with your specific voice tone. You can change that by clicking on the number and then changing it at any time. Once we do that, we see it gets a little larger. The uh, wave file's getting a little more spread out. It's becoming a little more crazy there. So what we want to do now is add another effect. Go up to the effects panel here. So we're on the effects rack once again. Click on that right arrow there by the number one effect. Go to amplitude and compression and go down to dynamics processing. Once we're there, we're going to want to click and hold until we drag our you know, our ratios to be a little different. So click the number one point there and drag it upwards. Our ratio should be anywhere from 2.03 to 2.05, and then the expander should be 1.18 to 1.21. Again, this is something you're going to need to play with to see what works best with your audio. Now, once we've done that, hit the red X there to close out, go down to the apply button there, and now that is applied. Once we have done that, we're going to want to go up to the effects tab again, go to amplitude and compression once more and go down to normalize. Leave it at the same number that you have already inserted in and then click OK. Once we've done that, we have one last step to take and all we're doing here is trying to reduce as much of the background noise as possible. So go to effects, go down to noise reduction, restoration and click on the noise reduction option there. Once we've done that, you're going to see this come available to you. And once you see this panel here, 
You then need to go ahead and click the apply button in the lower right hand corner of that screen. You can play around with this if you like, but again, I like the normal preset and go ahead and go to apply just like so. And then once you've done that, you are now done and you can play the finished audio. This is test audio for the tutorial. Again, you can hear how much it sounds so much more full, it sounds so crisp, and it just sounds fantastic on top of a video. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.